What if I told you your testosterone isn't low because you're broken, it's because your metabolism is stuck in molasses? And what if the fix isn't a testosterone injection, but instead is about melting the fat that has been hijacking your hormones? Today, we're diving into a study that asks the bold question. In men, can ZepBound help restore testosterone naturally without ever touching testosterone therapy? Oh, and don't forget to smash that subscribe button if you are here for no BS science, spicy analogies, and the real answers. First things first, what is low testosterone? Well, the medical term is hypogonadism. Now, I know that kind of sounds like something you might catch from a sketchy lake in July, but it's not a parasite, it is a hormone problem. Hypogonadism means the gonads, aka the testes in men, aren't pulling their weight. They are underproducing testosterone, sperm, or both. In women, hypogonadism can affect estrogen and egg production, but today we're only talking about the male side of the street. And this isn't just about libido. Low testosterone can show up as low energy, brain fog, fatigue, increased body fat, loss of muscle, and yep, erectile dysfunction. So if you're a man and you're thinking, hmm, I really haven't been feeling like myself lately, well, this might be one of the reasons why. Do you feel like you're doing everything right but still not getting results? You don't need another diet. What you need is clarity. Book a 25-minute one-on-one consult with me where we will cut through the confusion, unpack what is holding you back, and build a science-backed plan tailored for you. Whether you're just starting out or you're at a plateau, this is your next step forward. Spots are limited, so hit the link below and book now. Let's get you unstuck. Now, here's the plot twist. Not all forms of hypogonadism are created equal. Some men can have what's called primary testicular failure, which is true hypogonadism. But for a majority of men, it's going to be more secondary or metabolically driven hypogonadism, which can be a result of obesity, insulin resistance, and a body that is just caught up in a hormonal traffic jam. You see, your brain is trying to get you to produce testosterone, but the signal gets kind of lost somewhere in between your belly fat and your pancreas. And speaking of belly fat, did you know that fat can actually convert testosterone into estrogen? Yep, the more fat that you have means more of your testosterone is getting aromatized or converted into estrogen. That's kind of like turning steak into cotton candy and really isn't giving us the right vibe. Now let's enter the modern hero that's been gaining popularity, testosterone replacement therapy or TRT for short. I mean, sounds pretty great, right? You just slap on a gel or maybe do an injection and boom, you're back to feeling like you're in your 20s. But here's the truth. In this situation, TRT can be a bit like putting premium gas in a car with a broken engine. If the real problem here is metabolic dysfunction, pouring in more testosterone doesn't fix the cause, it just patches the symptom. Now, I will say that men that have been properly worked up and found to have true, genuine hypogonadism, TRT can be a life-changing therapy. But for the 35-year-old that has obesity, insulin resistance, and low testosterone, TRT might just be a distraction from the root cause, which is metabolic chaos. And TRT can definitely come with some potential risks, such as an increased risk of cardiovascular disease, your body stops producing your own testosterone, it can increase your estrogen levels, affect your fertility, and possibly increase the risk of prostate cancer, but there's still quite a bit of debate and the jury's really out on that one. So what if we flip the script though? And let's talk about this new pilot study that came out by Sandro and friends that looked at 83 men, all with obesity and all with hypogonadism. What they did is they split the men into three groups and followed them for a two-month period. Group A got ZepBound plus lifestyle changes. Group B was given lifestyle changes only. And Group C got testosterone therapy and lifestyle changes. As for the results, what was found is that ZepBound outperformed both the testosterone and lifestyle group alone. ZepBound led to the greatest amount of weight loss of about 8.1% from baseline. It helped cut fat mass by 42%, and it actually increased lean mass by 18%. Those are numbers that the other groups didn't even come close to touching. It also caused a massive 128% increase in testosterone levels and caused a decrease in estrogen levels of 60%, which definitely helped to rebalance those hormones naturally. Meanwhile, the guys that were on TRT did see an increase in their testosterone levels, but they also saw a concurrent increase in estrogen levels by about 21%, which certainly could have led to a more negative hormonal balance. 
Now, I do want to circle back here because that increase in lean mass with terzepatide, well, that's a bit of an eyebrow raiser. And it's not entirely clear as to why it was so dramatic, but here's a couple of reasons as to what might have been going on. There might have been some muscle sparing weight loss going on, in that when you're losing mostly fat, your muscle mass levels or lean mass levels are going to go up because you're losing that fat and getting a better body composition ratio. There likely was an improvement in insulin sensitivity. Better insulin sensitivity leads to better glucose uptake, which can help with muscle preservation and even muscle growth. There may have been some reductions in inflammation Lower chronic inflammation can help with recovery and improving muscle retention. As well, there was definitely some improvements in appetite regulation where we actually saw a decrease in binge eating of by about 67%. And so the participants on ZepBound may have been taking in higher quality, better nutrients that had more protein. The bottom line though, ZepBound didn't just help with weight loss. It restored hormone function, reduced binge eating, improved energy levels, and improved mood and sexual function, all without touching external testosterone therapy. So the question becomes, do we treat the symptom with testosterone therapy? or do we treat the system with ZepBound? As a quick aside, are you struggling to lose weight and you're not sure why? The thing is, you can't fix what you don't know is broken. And calorie tracking is still one of the most effective methods to figure out what is really going on. Now, I have tried every single tracker that is out there. Free, paid, clunky, glitchy, and macro factor blows them all away. It is way smarter than my fitness pal. It allows for faster logging with a verified food database. It also has AI powered calorie targets that can adjust based on your metabolism as well as providing you with weekly updates like a real nutrition coach. There's no red numbers, there's no guilt, there's just science and progress. And the best part, you can try it entirely for free for 14 days by using my code SMALLTWEAKS. So hit the link down below or download the Macro Factor app and enter my code SMALLTWEAKS and you can try this app out for 14 days entirely for free. And finally, take the guesswork out of fat loss. You'll be amazed at how easy this feels when an app actually works with your body, not against it. So with all of that in mind, let's put all of this into practice. First, if you're a clinician that's helping individuals manage their weight or manage their hormonal issues and that sort of thing, perhaps the first thing we wanna do is that if your patient that's sitting in front of you has obesity, low testosterone, and that sort of thing, before we jump to TRT, maybe we need to look at helping them manage the metabolic side of things and ensure that it's true hypogonadism before we go the TRT route. And if you're a patient, well, definitely talk to your provider about looking at the metabolic side of things before we jump to the TRT side. It really would be a much better strategy to treat the metabolic abnormalities, get that piece under control with a GLP-1 based medication, and then if that low testosterone and such is still hanging around, then we can definitely look at that TRT replacement therapy. This isn't about denying treatment or saying that you can't get on TRT if you need it. It's about sequencing it properly and treating the overall system before we just try and treat a symptom. Treat the root and reboot the system. And so for some guys, this might mean that you're skipping the TRT therapy altogether. And even if TRT is needed later on, you're gonna be in a much better place when your metabolism is isn't fighting against you because we've taken care of and managed that piece of things. So remember, you're not broken, you're not lazy, you're just metabolically hijacked. So let's fix the system before we treat the symptom. All right, everybody, now I wanna hear from you. Have you ever been told that you have low testosterone? And tell me, did anyone ever actually look at your metabolic health first before putting you on TRT therapy? Drop your comments, stories down below in the comment section. I would love to hear from you and hear what you got going on. And if you're finally ready to rebuild your relationship with food, body, and health, then you need to sign up for my Dr. Dan's Empowerment Hub. This is your go-to science-backed resource for everything that you need along your weight management journey, as well as an amazing community and group of individuals that are going through the exact same process. Just head to the description down below, click the link, or download the Mighty Networks app and search up Dr. Dan's Empowerment Hub to sign up today. All right, that is it, and that is all, you beautiful people. I know you enjoyed this video, so be sure to like it and share it with anybody else that you think might enjoy it. As well, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications notifications so you never miss out when I put out another video. As well, check me out on my other channels at the official Dr. Dan and head to the description down below to check out the links of all the products and things that I recommend.
recommend and you can make sure that you're staying on top of your health. And please remember, stay kind to yourself and that it is the small tweaks that lead to those massive peaks.